Welcome everybody back to Gamble with Jimmy. In today's episode, we're going to play line bets versus hot bets. Who is going to win? So with the line bet, we have two separate bankrolls. Each one has exactly $3,700. $3,700 is the starting stack. So the line bets are going to bet the line numbers on the inside five, six, eight, and nine. And the hops are going to hop the five, six, eight, and nine. And we're going to analyze it and see who wins. Okay. Now, um, if I, if I play where I'm navigating, <coughs> excuse me, if I'm navigating like I normally play, oh guys, holy crap. We made a fortune today at the casino. We went from up 7,200 all the way up to 9,700. Uh, we had a huge day. We won like 2,500 bucks today. So we had a really, really good day. And guys, only played for an hour, hour and a half. So I was betting really big on the, uh, the bets that I did today. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and play this and see who is going to win the hops or the line bets. Let's go ahead and get started. Um, the hop bets will be below. Uh, so the, I'll put the, the line bets on the actual numbers and the hop bets will be right below them on the, on the bottom line. Okay, here we go. Okay, so what I'm going to do, like I said, the bottom is all the hot bets and the tops are the line bets. So the line bets are investing $40, $10 each. We're playing on a $10 table. The hot bets have $5 each on each hop. So let's get started. Okay, five, three, eight. The uh, eight, the $10 on the line bet is going to pay $14. Or I'm, uh, actually, okay. Let me, let me, let me make, make sure you guys understand here. We're not playing with dollar chips, okay? I, I, I have white chips, but I had to use them for the $100 ones, okay? So we're going to, every time, I don't care if it's a couple dollars, guys. That's chump change. I don't care. I don't want to hear it. Oh, it's $2. You're screwing the casino. You know, that's fine. We'll give them back a little bit of money at the end of the session, okay? I'm not going to cry over a couple dollars. All right. So they're going to have on that, they got to have 12. So that's going to pay 14 I'm going to give them 15 because everything's going to be rounded off. Sometimes we'll round it off lower. Sometimes we'll round it off higher, okay? So that money goes to the line guy. Okay, the hop's going to lose all the hops except for the 5-8. Okay, it loses 35 and it gets back 75. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and just, um, we're gonna go ahead and be off. The line guy is gonna be off. Now I don't care if somebody out there is gonna leave it on there. I, I'm not gonna change the way that I would play. Okay, so I'm gonna be off on the line guy. The reason why I wanna do that is I gotta keep it fair where the hop guy cannot have more or less bets or, you know what I mean? If the hop guy's betting less often, it's more opportunity for the line guy to lose. So I gotta keep everything even. If the hop guy's not betting, the line guy's not betting. The line guy was off and we just rolled a seven. So he didn't lose a dime. That's part of the way that I play. Look at that, back to back seven, we're still off. 
Okay, so we've hit two sevens in a row and a three. So hop guy's coming in. He's hopping all the inside, so the line guy's working. Okay, three, one, four. The hop guy loses 35. The line guy don't lose a dime. All right, so here's what we did. We increased the line guy all the way to uh, $20 for each number. We increased the hop guy to $10 for each hop, and he put a nickel on the three, three, and four, four. Seven out, everybody loses. Okay guys, the line guy is 25 on the five and nine and 30 on the six and eight. The hop guy is $15 per hop on five, six, eight, and nine. And he also has $10 each on the hard hop, on the hard six, eight. Okay, three, two, five. Okay, so give me a second. Okay, so the hop guy wins with the 3-2. Uh, he's got 15 on it. Okay, I believe that's two, yeah, that's $225. And he's gonna lose 125. So the hop guy makes 100 profit. The, the hop guy keeps that, because he only got 100. He really gets 225, so he's gonna keep all the losses that he had, plus he makes a hundred profit. Okay, the line guy gets paid thirty-five dollars. Okay, everybody's off. That's a seven. That's a seven, that's one loss. Oops.
I can't get two losses in a row. All right, there's one. <laughs> we win again. There's one. One loss. Cannot lose, guys. I am winning every single roll. There's one loss. God, we cannot lose, dude. A lot of people are going, what the hell is he waiting for? God, we cannot lose. We can literally not lose two in a row. One. There we go. There's two in a row. Okay, here we go. $10 each on the line and $5 hops uh, each on the inside. Okay, that's a seven. Everybody loses. Okay, 20 each on the line guy, five, six, eight, and nine. Ten dollar hops for the hop guy. Uh, he's got five dollars on the three, three, and the four, four. Everything else is ten. Okay, five, three, eight. Hop guy gets 150 for the 5 3. Okay, we know we know that uh, 18, 19, 20, 21. Uh, what is that? I don't do box numbers anymore, so let's see. Bear with me. So he would have. Uh, is 21 pays 24. So we'll give them a quarter. Okay, here we go. That's a seven. That's one loss. And that's two losses right there. Three, two, five. Okay, the hop guy, five dollars each, he's gonna get a thirty-five dollar loss and a seventy-five dollar win. The line guy gets 15 bucks, really 14 bucks. We'll give him 15.
That's one loss. One loss. All right, back to back sevens. That's two losses. Six two eight. Lose 35, win 75 for the hopper. $14 win for the fives. We'll give them 15. Okay. Let's wait it out. Okay, two losses in a row. Let's do it. Okay, that's an 11. The uh, line guy keeps all his money. The hop guy loses everything. Okay, $20 each for the line guy, uh, $10 per hop for the hopper, and he's got the extra five on each three, three, and four, four, or three, three, and uh, four, four, eight. Six, two. Okay, the hopper loses 75 and wins 150. Sorry, I accidentally took my winner and put it in the banker's side. That comes back to the hopper. He won on the eight, so he gets his $10 back. Okay, we're going to get, uh, that's going to be 20, 21, so that's going to get 24. We'll give them an extra nickel. I mean an extra dollar. Okay, that's a 10, and that's a 7. That's two losses. $5. 
Four two six. Hopper loses thirty five, wins seventy five. Okay, we put all the money back in the, the line bets uh, rack because uh, he's coming down. and Or we pretty much can turn them off. We'll start turning them off instead for the line, okay? It's too much work for me to keep putting them. So I'll just tell, tell you that they're off. And But he makes 15 bucks for the six. Okay, two losses. Let's come in. So just goes to show you how um, tough this is to beat on inside numbers, man. Like, I mean, even if you're playing the line bets, um, the key is just the waiting two losses in a row. Uh, it's going to really help your game. So, I mean, we would have lost two times in a row, and then your bet size goes way up. Instead, we're just keeping it simple, and we're spiking one out of every three. Um and we haven't even gotten any kind of trouble. We haven't had any th time uh, that we've lost like three in a row. And if you do, I think w w like a couple times. But we haven't lost four in a row or five in a row. So it's pretty much been like clockwork lately. We lose two, then we win. We lose two, then we win. Guys, when I'm at the casino now, it's, it's just too good to be true. <laughs> it's like... Dude, it's just too good to be true, bro. <laughs> They're never going to beat me, man. It's just not going to happen. Ooh, look at that. Three losses in a row, but that's really our first loss. The hop loses. The line bet doesn't care about that roll. Okay, here we go. 639 winner. Lose 80, get back, one, uh, you, you win one, 150.
Okay, I believe 20 on the 9 uh, pays uh, 30. So um, I could be wrong there, but we're just going to pay it 30. It's kind of an odd bet. I know 25 pays 35, so I think I think we're pretty close. Okay, here we go. Okay, that's two losses in a row. Ten hops loses. Hard eight. Okay, so check this out. The did the uh, hop guy did put a nickel. Uh, we have ten dollars on all the hops except for the three three and the four four. There's only a nickel on there, but they pay thirty to one, so it works out to be one fifty. I almost put the uh, money on the line guy in the uh, casino's rack, but I just remembered they didn't lose, so I put it to, to their rack. The eight on the line guy gets 15. It's really 14, and the bet size is really 12. So now what we're going to do now, because the line guy keeps getting away with $10 bets, and he keeps winning 15, okay? So what we're going to do now is we're going to start deducting a nickel from the line guy to start making up. He's getting probably an extra 40, 50 bucks. So we're going to start deducting now. Okay, that's two in a row. Seven, everybody loses. Snake guys, the hop guy loses.
All right. Now, when you're hopping all the inside numbers, you can't, when you lose two in a row, you can't go up one unit. You have to actually go up two units. So we went from 10 to 20. Okay, the line bet just went to uh, $20 more, so it's at 40 each number. Okay, 6, 4, 10. The hop guy loses all that money. Okay, so the hop guy has seen four straight losers. Um, lost two, uh, two, or, uh, let's see, three, no, actually five straight losers. We waited two and lost three in a row. Okay, so now we were at the $20 level, right? We're actually gonna go all the way up to the $35 level. Okay, the line, uh, the hop guy is at thirty-five dollars per hop, and he also has twenty-five each on the three-three and the four-four. Okay, uh, so the line guy is basically going to just double each bet. So he's got forty. He's going to go to eighty dollars per 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 number. Okay, it's interesting. Here we go. 628 for the win. Okay, 35 times 15, let's calculate. Five hundred twenty-five. Okay, $80, uh, I think 90 pays 105. So uh, we're gonna go ahead and do, we'll do 90, we'll do 90 because like I said, the, the, the line bet's been kind of cheating every time a little bit. So we'll just do 90, it's a good win.
Okay, all the numbers go back to, the, all the money goes back to the line. All right, so the line on all those losses, the line never lost anything except for when the seven hit. Um, okay, so uh, let's see how we're doing on time. 37 minutes. Okay, let's play a couple more. That's like seven in a row that we would have won. Okay, hops loses. Five one six winner. Okay, so they got. 21 on there now they're so close to the 21 we're just going to pay them the, the 25 here because they they get uh 21 supposed to pay 24 so they're or, uh yeah that's right so uh 21 pays 24 uh we'll give them a quarter all right one more and we'll see who is the winner Man, when I was playing today, guys, I won all that money on random rollers, guys. I, I won on random rollers. There was this one guy who was random rolling today. Dude, this guy must have threw. He, every time he had the dice in his hand, he had like 23 rollers. I wasn't hardly hopping any sevens. But I did get lucky off this one guy. I was hopping the sevens on the come out every time this guy was the shooter. He threw, I hopped him every time. He, he threw three in a row. <laughs> I, I got three in a row hops. Okay, that's going to finish the session. We're going to have a winner. We're going to end on a winner.
Okay, 10, pay 14, we'll go ahead and make it 15. All right, who do you guys want to count first? Let's count the line bet first. Everybody started with 3,700, right? Yeah, today at the casino, guys, I didn't even hardly use any of my 10K. I literally, uh, I probably used like $600 of the 10k i mean i had it all there but i just i never even got in trouble there was i never got in trouble it was just really easy but i i did have some some bets that went up a little bit Okay, so there's the 3,700 that it started with, okay? Okay, it won that whole stack of red. Okay, the line bets won $190. $190 is what the line bets won, okay? Uh, we played for 30 minutes, uh, 40, 40 minutes. We played for 40 minutes. Uh, it didn't play every hand. Had it played every hand, uh, I think it probably would have won about 350 because we, we didn't have a lot of losses. Um, we really didn't. So we were hitting a lot. Remember that one time we would have won seven in a row. So I think it would have won about 350. So uh, keep in mind, guys, I do the waiting to prevent serious damage when you had a ladder up and up and up and up. It's it's a I'd rather win less and and play smart and 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 protect my my money uh, because remember I don't lose and I'm gonna keep it that way. All right, so 195 dollars for the line bets. Or 190. Okay, 3,700 was the buy-in. Let's, uh, we got 3,700 that we paid back our buy-in. Okay, so we played a lot of small ball tonight. We didn't have any big, big home run score or nothing like that. So the the hot bets made three hundred and thirty-five dollars. So three hundred and thirty-five. Okay, so that's a hundred and forty-five dollar difference for every forty minutes. So if you played for three hours, you would make $300 more 
on the hop system playing the same exact bets. So you're averaging $145 more for every 40 minutes. We'll round it off to an hour, okay? So that's a big difference. So, like, so if you did that, let's say for eight hours, $145 more for eight hours, I mean, you're talking like 1500 bucks more that you would make on the same game, the same thing, and the hot bets almost doubled what the line bets did. But um, I think that... It was very safe, right? Don't you think? Like, we never got in any kind of trouble. The only one that really kind of got in a little bit of trouble was the hot bets. Not The line bets never got in any trouble. Like, so if you guys want to go there, wait for a couple of times that you don't see the five, six, eight, and 9. Get your one hit. Tell them to shut you off. You don't need to take it down. Just say, shut me off. Turn me off. Okay? Keep your bets up there. Make sure you do your laddering up and down properly. So if you had to go up, make sure you reduce it back to the level one. And then as soon as you see two losses, boom, do it again. And I think that you're going to walk home with a couple hundred bucks. So uh, I think that would be a, an approval from me on the line bets. And um, But anyway, that was a lot of fun. I enjoyed that. So I hope you guys did too. So thanks for watching. And I'll see you on the next one. For all of you that are new to this channel... Uh, please subscribe if you like the content and uh, welcome aboard.